This is Sean Jivar Vavrinsky, and I'm an African Instant Engineer for Go Engineer. And today I want to talk to you about 3D sketches with inside of SOLIDWORKS. Now to access a 3D sketch, you need to first come up to the Sketch tab on the Command Manager, and you'll notice that there's a drop-down menu located underneath the sketch. You can click on that, and you'll see 3D Sketch. And just like a normal sketch, we can create sketch entities here in a 3D sketch and apply relationships to them. Now what you'll notice is when you're creating these sketch relationships, uh, there will be some new options here within the software. Um, when I click on this line here, you can see that I have an X direction, a Y direction, and a Z direction. And if you're not comfortable with this pop-up selector that comes up when you select this entity, you can come over here to the left-hand side on the property manager and you'll see that you'll have those same options along X, along Y, and along Z. I'm going to make this line along X to lock it there. Now when I'm working within a 3D sketch, I do like to see various different views when I'm creating these entities because I need to be able to determine whether or not the direction that I'm creating this information is going to be as intended. Um, so what I like to do is I like to have my viewport showing four different views. Um, to do this, you just have to come up to window and then viewport, and then you can choose between one through four. I've set up a hotkey to create my viewport. So for this four point viewport, I set it as alt four. You can create customizations in the customization option and program those into the uh, keyboard shortcuts if you like. And within these viewports, you can come in and click into each view that you want and you can customize the set which view you'd like to set it as. So for this left view, I'm gonna change it to a right view and I'm gonna do that by pressing control four. Now what I'll notice is when I start grabbing this corner and moving it around in this trimetric view, notice that in each of these other views, I can see the information at how it's moving and I can further see that in the right view, I'm actually pulling it back and forth, which is what I'm not intending. So I wanna make sure that I get a good understanding of how this information is generated. So then I can specify on a long Y axis to lock this perpendicular to the top plane, like so. And now when I start moving this around, I should be able to see that I can only move it up and down. To go back into a trimetric view, or whichever view I want to go into, just click into that view, and then um, you can go back to Window, Viewport, and click on uh, Single View, or I'm pressing Alt-1 for my programmed key view. And then just like a normal sketch, I can create dimensions and specify them for these line entities. Now, because I'm creating a 3D sketch, um, I'm going to turn some lines to construction lines and make more geometry. Now, when you want to make more sketch entities, if I choose a line, um, what you'll notice is that when I select my line tool, um, notice that on the cursor itself, there's an X and Y. Now, there's a reason why this information shows up, and if, it'll be more beneficial if I switch to my viewport again. So I'll do that. <clears throat> And when I select my line tool again, as I create it, notice that when it says X and Y, I should only see certain information that shows up on the front view. Um, if you look at the front view, you can clearly see that I'm bringing up an angled line. And if I start moving it around, I can only move it around along the X and Y plane. So the information that's showing up on the cursor is what plane this will be visible on. And if I want to ever switch between different planes, if I wanted to go along the right plane or the YZ plane, I just have to press tab once on my keyboard. And now I can see that this information is showing up on the YZ plane. If I want to go along the top plane, then I can choose the ZX plane. And then I can see that information off of there. Uh, for this one, I want to go ahead and switch it to a YZ plane so I can come back at an angle. And from there, 
I can adjust more information off of there. And after I have it coming back along the YZ plane, I'll choose the ZX plane to come along the X axis. And then I'll end it again um, at the other end of the vertical line that I'd created initially with a YZ relationship. Now I know these back angled lines that I've created, I want to have be the same length. And I also want them to um, be parallel with one another. So I'll make them parallel. And to completely line it up, I also want to make sure that I make a parallel relationship to the right plane and one of these angled lines as well. Now when I look at this, I can see in my viewport, I can see that when I drag it, it'll be locked along that plane together. And I'll specify a couple more dimensions. So I'll make this 12 inches for the handle portion. And then I'll also specify an angle between all of these. And now I have a fully defined sketch. And I can clearly see in all of my different viewports the various different angles that I've created for this handle that I'm designing. And then I can further post process and add any necessary fillets that I might want to add to make this a little bit more ergonomic when creating this. This is Chandra Vafamunsky, and I hope you enjoyed this video on 3D sketches within SOLIDWORKS. Mm -hmm.